A Russian plot to assassinate the boss of a German weapons manufacturer was foiled earlier this year thanks to U.S. intelligence. That is according to CNN. The broadcaster claims Amin Papberg, the chief executive of Rheinmetall, was among defense industry executives across Europe targeted by the Kremlin. U.S. intelligence services passed details of the plan to German authorities. Papberg has been a high-profile supporter of Ukraine's war effort and his company has produced artillery shells and military vehicles for Kyiv. Our political correspondent Simon Young joins me now from Berlin. Simon, do you have any more details on this story? Well, we asked uh, Ryan Mattel, the company, uh, whether they could confirm any of the details about this alleged assassination plot. And they told us uh, that they uh, can't comment on company security matters, but that they are in regular contact with the security services here in Germany and that they take measures as necessary. Now, it's worth knowing Ryan Mattel is one of the biggest European arms manufacturers a big supplier of tanks and uh, artillery munitions to Ukraine. In fact, it says itself it's the uh, largest maker of artillery ammunition uh, in the world. And this company uh, in June just opened a, uh, a joint venture with a Ukrainian state firm to repair and possibly also build tanks in Ukraine. It also has plans to uh, start producing uh, artillery uh, munitions in Ukraine as well. So this is a company that is significantly uh, involved in the Ukrainian war effort. How have German officials reacted to this information about this foiled plot? Yeah, what we've got so far is uh, a comment from Annalena Baerbock, uh, Germany's foreign minister, speaking uh, at that NATO uh, summit in Washington. She said that this is the kind of thing uh, that Germany has been warning about for months, uh, namely that Russia is conducting a hybrid war, she said, uh, against Germany and the West, uh, and uh, that it just showed again that Europe must stand together and protect itself and not be naive, she said. Uh, and the NATO Secretary General also commenting, uh, saying that he believes that Russia is conducting a campaign uh, against European uh, and Western defence uh, installations. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the purpose of it is to intimidate Ukraine's allies, where he said it wouldn't work. In fact, precisely the opposite. It strengthens the resolve uh, to push back against Russia. Yeah, but these kinds of warnings, they've been floating around for as long as this war has been going on, if not longer. Have German authorities not taken them seriously enough? Yeah, well, of course, the German government says it takes, it, uh, it takes this uh, threat very seriously, uh, that it's uh, doing all it can to meet this uh, hybrid uh, challenge uh, and that it's, uh, you know, in close cooperation with international partners and will do, do everything it can to uh, protect its interests. But it has to be said the list of alleged Russian attacks is growing uh, longer. There have been cyber attacks, disinformation campaigns, all in connection with the Ukraine war, even the suggestions of a link uh, between Russian intelligence services and a major fire at a weapons factory here in Berlin back in May. Uh, uh, the European Union Commission says that Russia is targeting Germany more than any other EU country. And I think it all adds up to a, a sort of threat background that is very concerning. Political correspondent Simon Young, great speaking to you. Thank you so much.